Okay, here's a quick example of localizing some text uh, for Yarn Spinner. You can see I've got the space example open here. This is just the, the standard file. You can walk up to Sally, say hello. If I take a look at their dialogue in Yarn, you can see, hey Sally, oh hi, you snuck up on me, just, uh, just the regular stuff. Uh, this file by itself is not enough to localize the dialogue. We actually have to tag this text first. And that's where Yarn Spinner console comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the Sally uh, Yarn file over to a temporary directory where I've already copied the Yarn Spinner console files. So I'll just paste that in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a command prompt, change into that directory, and then I'm going to say Yarn Spinner console tag lines sally.yarn.txt and what that does is it adds some tags to all of the lines of dialogue if I uh, open that file again here this time in a text editor you can see that each one of these lines of dialogue now have a, a tag attached to them that gives them a kind of a unique line number just close that uh, now that I have that, I'm going to generate some uh, CSV files uh, of those lines of dialogue. And that's going to be something that I can hand to uh, a translator or a translation, upload to a translation service, and they'll be able to translate that into another language. So let's say Yarn Spinner, oops, Yarn Spinner console, gen strings, Sally yarn.txt. Now, uh, when I tried this earlier, it also gave me that warning. Uh, we can ignore this for now. There's not actually any untagged lines, and it doesn't happen in, in my own game, but uh, there must be a, a, a small bug in the uh, detection routine here. Uh, if I look back over at the temporary folder, you can see it's created a Sally uh, yarn lines CSV file. I can open that up in uh, Excel or Google Sheets or whatever. And you can see that all of the lines of dialogue have their unique uh, line uh, code here, and then each actual line of dialogue. So if I was to maybe um, wanted to translate this into French, your, uh, your person who's doing the translation might change this value here to say, parlez-vous anglais, and we can say, Je ne parle pas anglais. So do you speak do you speak English? I don't speak English. And I'm gonna save that file again. Close that. Now when you're uh, translating, uh, it's a good idea to keep track of which file has which language in it. So I'm just gonna quickly change this to say FRCA, just to say this is uh, the list of my dialogue, but it's translated into Canadian French, let's say. So I'm going to take these two files and I'm going to bring them back over into my uh, Unity folder. So I'm overwriting the uh, example TXT file with the newly tagged one, and I'm adding the lines of dialogue, two of which I have I've translated into French. And now back inside the Unity project, it's going to take a second import that dialog file. Uh, I'm going to take a look at my uh, dialog runner here. And you can see that it says the, the normal stuff here. It's got the source text. Uh, if I run the project and then walk over to Sally, you can see that it's still the normal English text. Now, if I want to add the French translation, I can go to the string groups uh, here, open that up. I'm going to change that to one, and I'm going to say French, and then for string files, I'm going to change that to one as well, and then I'm going to find that lines file, and that is this one here. You can see down here that uh, the simple example has uh, some translation files as well. So open that up. Okay, so now. 
the string groups has one translation in it. We we're saying that that's French and that this is the uh, the file here. Now by default, this is still just going to display uh, English, which is normal. If I want to say in my game options, I can override the language from English to something else. So this would be something you'd implement in your configuration to say, uh, you know, to have the player either manually set a language or maybe you're detecting it from their system settings. But for testing, I can say should override language, check that off, and override language with French. And now if I run the project again, I'm going to walk up to Sally, parlez-vous anglais, je ne parle pas anglais, and then the rest of the lines. So yeah, that's uh, that's a quick way to uh, to get that running. You're basically tagging your files, generating script uh, uh, script files for for all of the the lines, which you would then give to your translators for all of your various languages, and then that's how you add them back into your uh, Unity project. Uh, there you go. Cheers.